found a beautiful mid-century bedroom set at an auction recently. It was made by the manufacturer called Whittacombe Furniture. I was not really familiar with them, but did a bit of research and found out that they were from Grand Rapids, uh, Michigan, and they made lovely furniture during the mid-century. This particular one that I have, this six-drawer dresser right here, is um, a walnut dresser, really, really solidly made. It was in surprisingly good condition, except obviously for the failing uh, finish on the top, but structurally, it, there was nothing loose. It was solid, no major repairs were needed. It was mostly just finish issues. The dovetail joinery was rock solid, didn't have to do any repairs. On the bottom of the dresser in the middle, there was an extra support sort of leg that they had built, which was really nice because it just gives more extra stability to the piece. The veneer went all the way down to the bottom. Uh, there was very, very few chips out of it, so that was great. And you gotta love a piece of furniture where the manufacturer actually finishes off the back just as nice as the front. Nice solid piece of walnut veneer on the back of the piece. I started by scraping the finish off, but it didn't take me very long to figure out, I don't wanna do this, because it was really hard to scrape it off. I was using a lot of pressure, and it's a big piece. So I opted for chemical stripper, and um, I had to do several coats of this, but it did come off. Stripping can be quite messy, so I decided to add some uh, newspaper on the pieces of wood underneath the top of the dresser just so that drips wouldn't get all over it uh, because I was creating a little bit of a mess here, so that helped. Now on to stripping the dresser drawers. I'm in Canada, so I use circa 1850 to get off the finish. I know you can't get that everywhere, but that's what I use. It works pretty good. You know, I have no complaints. Sometimes I, with something like this, the, the parts that weren't failing were on really well, so I had to do a couple coats of the stripper in order to get it all off. But uh, with a little bit of patience, it did come all off. After the initial stripping of the furniture, I often go back with uh, steel wool and just go over the whole thing. It just, it just helps get the little pieces out of the nooks and crannies. Mineral spirits is the last step before sanding. 
uh, the stripper has done its job and then I just go over the whole piece with mineral spirits. Helps clean all the extra little pieces off and makes it really clean. After the stripping was done, I used a 120 grit sandpaper to get the remaining bits and pieces off the front of the drawers. As you can see, I follow the grain. That way you're not gonna get marks or as many marks on the uh, piece. And I always wear gloves because for some reason I just can't stand the feel of sawdust on my fingers. Um, I use a little dental pick to get the little pieces of paint and green filler and stuff out of the hard to access areas. And I go back to sanding and I just keep switching back and forth and keep moving along. And you know, I might finish the whole drawer front and then go over it one more time. Um, every time I look back on it, I'll get a few more pieces out. It depends on how picky you are. I'm pretty picky, so I'll do this several times. I finished sanding the solid walnut poles with 120 and got most of the finish off. It's uh, They're looking good now. So I'm moving on to 150 grit, which I'm going to do the drawer fronts with. I don't like to use 120 because it can be a little bit aggressive on veneer. Um, and I'm hand sanding anyways right now, so it's pretty gentle on the veneer. And this veneer is thick, so I'm not worried about sanding through anything. I do have to fix that little um, missing piece of uh, veneer on the corner, which I'll do uh, a little later in the video. Okay, now I'm gonna address this little patch that I have to do. First of all, there's a um, bit of the finish or something left right on top of where the gouge is. And so I took my scraper and tried to get it off. I was having a difficult time. Some of it was coming off, but it wasn't all coming off. So I had to uh, do a few other things to try to get it all off. Okay, the second attempt was to use 80 grit sandpaper on that area to try to get some of that finish or whatever that was. It was, it was like a grain filler or something. I could tell that the veneer was underneath it. I sprayed a bit of water on it just to see the difference so I can see how much of it was left and to my surprise there's still quite a bit of it left because it's very close in color to the, the actual wood veneer. Uh, so I had to try something else because obviously the sandpaper wasn't working that great. So I opted to get some paint stripper and uh, try to use that to take it off. After the first application of the paint stripper, it still wasn't all off, so I gave it a second dab, but paint stripper weighed a little bit and went at it again with the steel wool. This time I added a dental pick and that seemed to do the trick. Here is the piece all finished and all cleaned up and ready to fill. 
Unfortunately, I didn't videotape the filling part, but what I did is took epoxy putty, filled the little hole, and then leveled it out with some sanding, and then stained and in-painted it, and you barely noticed it after that. This is the top of the dresser after I had sanded it, uh, stripped it and sanded it. It looked pretty good, except for the big black stain that was on one end of it. Um, I knew from previous experience and application that I had to put some oxalic acid onto it to bleach it out. It took two applications and the stain disappeared really. There was very, very little left of it and um, I was quite happy with the results. I sprayed it down with some water and this is what it looked like after I had used the oxalic acid. Barely visible. Um, I knew that once I put uh, the general finishes stain on it, you wouldn't even notice the whatever was left over of the black area. It would have been right there. So not bad. Another repair uh, to the exterior of the dresser um, is this piece of veneer that's missing in the corner. So what I opted to do for this repair is I had quite a bit of walnut veneer. So I cut out pieces the size of the little cutout and I just stack, glued them and stacked them and um, glued them in there. And it seemed to do the trick. I used my chisel just to even out the wood a little bit before adding the pieces in. Um, I think I had four pieces in total and what I did is I added each layer uh, with some wood glue and then we put the next layer on top of it, add more wood glue and keep doing that until they were all in place. After the repair was done and I let it dry and the whole side was sanded, I stained the piece with nutmeg, general finishes nutmeg, and um, it covered it quite well. With a little bit of painting, in painting at the end, it fixed it up so you could barely see it. The reality of refinishing furniture is you have to have patience. Stripping, whether you strip chemically, whether you sand the finish off or whether you scrape it off, it takes a while and sometimes you have to do it repeatedly. Um, you can't go in into it thinking that, oh yeah, I'll finish it in a day or two. Usually, unless you've got like, you know, 12 hours in a day to work on it, but most people don't. So usually it's going to take you a while to do it. You work for a few hours here and there and uh, get the job done. Now that the dresser is sanded, I'm going to tape off the inside of where the drawers go so I don't get stain all over the inside. It just makes it look messy if you don't and then you see little bits of stain all, you know, inside the drawers. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm finally ready for the stain and I chose nutmeg for its nice warm brown. I, the reason I added a stain to this, because normally you don't really have to stain walnut because it has its own really nice natural color, but I had to do quite a bit of um, lightening on the top of the dresser with oxalic acid because of the black stain that was on the top. So I decided that in order to even the color out everywhere, I should probably stain it and that's why I chose this. One of my favorite stains is General Finishes Nutmeg. I love the color on walnut. It gives it that nice rich brown. Uh, but I also like the way it just goes on the furniture. It doesn't dry really fast, so you don't get that streaking that sometimes happens. Uh, it's just, it goes on really smooth. It's just a pleasure to use.
I chose Odie's oil for the top coat on this piece of furniture for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason is I just genuinely really like the finish that it gives the furniture. It looks really good. It's not really high luster, um, but there's a nice sheen on it. But the second reason is I, and during the colder months, I refinish furniture in my basement and I just can't do anything that's really stinky or smelly. And Odie's oil smells really good and it's not uh, overwhelming or anything. So I, uh, I tend to use hard wax oils and finishes that don't have high odors in the winter months. Okay, the Odie's oil has sat for about an hour or so and I am going to come and buff it off now. Often I use um, just cotton, old like cotton bath towels and stuff to uh, take the finish off. But uh, today I ran out of old cotton towels so I was using my shop rags which seemed to do the job okay. After I buffed off most of the Odie's oil, I used my scraper to get into the line along the edge of the pull or the drawer handle along the front to get all the stuff out of, out of that area. I oiled the underside of the dresser as well. It was really dried out the wood and it looked like it just needed some nourishing so I added oil there. These little brackets were on the underside of the dresser. Um, I think they just add a little bit of stability to the sides uh, but they're also very decorative. Uh, when I first got the piece they were nasty looking as you can see by this picture here. But once I uh, used a little bit of uh, elbow grease, Barkeeper's Friends, they shone up really nice. And it's just a nice little extra feature. The last step was to oil the entire outside of the dresser. I did the sides, the top, the front, I even did the back, the under undersides, um, the drawers had been done. And after it was oiled and completely buffed, and then buffed again just to make sure there was no going to be no streaks on it uh, then it was ready for the reveal <laughs> 